So how far to the wreck from here? Oh, about half an hour. So Matthew, we finally made it. Where, where exactly are we? Well, Tim, we're at the Southern Cloud crash site in the incredibly rugged upper valley of the Tuma River on the western side of Kogiosko National Park, some of the wildest mountain country in Australia. So, so what was the Southern Cloud? Southern Cloud was one aircraft, part of a fleet uh, in a new airline launched by pioneers uh, Kingsford Smith and Charles Alm. And uh, in 1931, March 1931, the aircraft was about to take off for uh, Melbourne from Sydney, with six passengers on board, two crew. The crew, pilot Travis Shortridge and co-pilot Charlie Donnell, they knew they'd have windy and rainy weather to fly into, but what they didn't know was that after they took off, the Weather Bureau revised its forecast to virtually cyclonic conditions over the Australian Alps. The plane did not make it to Melbourne, and despite a huge search in uh, succeeding weeks, it just had disappeared into, into thin air. So, so how, was it, how was it found? How was the mystery solved? Well, it did become a, a major aviation mystery. It was Australia's first major civil aviation disaster. And even in world terms, it was one of the longest running missing planes up until 1958, 27 years after the wreck. A snowy scheme worker, Tom Sonter, was doing a bit of a walk in here, taking photographs, aiming for Blackjack Mountain, a very big peak just to our north. Turned back because the country was far too rough and literally stumbled upon the aircraft wreck. And within a couple of days, police and civil aviation officials had positively identified it as this missing plane and the mystery was solved. And, and what's the legacy of, of, of the mystery of the Southern Cloud and it being found? Okay, well as you can see there's not a lot on the site because it was a huge souveniring effort in the week succeeding the discovery. Uh, but there is this memorial uh, framed by pieces of the aircraft. There are other memorials, there's one in the main street of Cooma. There's a memorial lookout over near Tumbarumba. And there are objects from the plane held by the National Museum in Canberra and Tumbarumba Museum. But in terms of uh, air travel, uh, one of the recommendations after the, the disappearance was that radios be fitted in regular passenger flights so that changes in weather forecasts could be communicated to the air crew because there was no radio on Southern Cloud in 1931. Now this isn't the easiest spot to get to, but you've been here six times, is that right? It's my sixth visit in here. I first came here in 1984 when I was writing an article for the Canberra Historical Journal. And we actually camped up the hill here and you know, stayed overnight, which was a very moving experience for the first time. Uh, since then, of course, bushfires have burned through. It's become a much more difficult place to get to. But in uh, 2008, the 50th anniversary celebrations where Tom Sonter came in with others, uh, I was fortunate enough to be part of that. And that helped to open up the track a bit more. And we've been able to get through here today. But without the track, Southern Cloud would disappear once again.